Datatech is a global ICT solutions and services group which operates as Westcon, Logicalis, and Mason Analysis. Exactly. So those are the three big brands. Those two big parts, Westcon and Logicalis, are responsible for about you know 50% of revenue and 50% of profits each. This is a global player, remember. This is not a South African-only business. In fact, it's headquartered in London. That's where Jens Montanana, the CEO, is based. And it is really a global player. A lot of the business has to do with its relationship with Cisco, where it in installs network equipment and network server infrastructure for big corporates around the world using Cisco Kit. Market cap 12.4, it's uh, got a PE ratio of 17.3, dividend yield here of nearly 3%. Datatech hasn't made the headlines that it used to. Is no. that just by virtue of the, the industry becoming smaller in the context of South Africa's life? Um, probably not. Uh, as polite as I can be in terms of the IT space, uh, it's probably quite boring um, in terms of what it does. There's not fast growth here. You're talking very, very small margins. Um, the story of I guess diversification, so many different countries that they're in. So revenue looks really, really good because it's quite high, but the margins are tiny in terms of, of, of what they do. And that's really the business model. I think um, long, long gone are the days where this was a variable business with uh, exciting growth prospects. It's, it's become quite mature. So I don't think it makes the headlines because yeah, it's quite boring in that sense. Boring is good in my mind. But boring is, I don't know if it's good in your mind, Paul. Do you, do you go for boring? Well, look, let's just understand what's happened in the IT industry in recent decades has been that we've had some very big uh, firms internationally attracting attention, which are consumer accessible directly globally. So I'm talking about things like Facebook, and Google and the likes. Which are very exciting. Yeah, which are very exciting. Not and that's boring. kind of dominated the market cap within the investment space within technology. Then you've got uh, big banks and IT driven uh, telecommunications companies which have largely internalized the IT process because it's become so core to the business that that now is the core expertise. And then you've got largely sales driven IT vendor equipment driven companies people that sell like Cisco kit and so on, but the margins there tend to be quite uh, narrow. There's a bit of IT consulting that can be done around issues like security and internalization of ERP, that sort of stuff, but I think that's kind of narrowed. And you've seen, for example, how even the big global giants in this space like IBM are actually battling because they're not seeing the same kind of ability to renew that they had before. So it's more s modular, people are using more open source type stuff, it's tricky. Tricky, 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 and I just think that's probably the reason why as good a company as Datatech is, it's not really getting the kind of hype and high multiples that people used to associate with this sector. Does boring equate to sustainable? Um, certainly when you look at the underlying operating performance, um, if you're looking at it in RANDs, it's even better. Uh, most of the revenue, well, <laughs> most, uh, the vast portion of the revenue uh, is outside of South Africa. I think they're earning close to 70% in North America and Europe. Um, and then uh, the vast majority of the rest comes from Asia. So very little exposure to South Africa. So with the weaker RAND, operationally, the numbers look pretty good. But even in dollar terms, um, steady eddy, if you want to call it that, um, I certainly think that there'll be a push in terms of improving the margin profile going forward. Won't be phenomenal. Um, but gradual improvement. So from a value perspective, yeah, steady is, is potentially good. Does that warrant inclusion in a portfolio if you're looking for IT exposure? Mm, it's tricky because goes. of course, this is all we've got on our local markets. So if you want IT exposure, although I suppose you could always own NASPAS and MTN in this space, which are kind of IT driven companies. So for me, I'm gonna say this one's gonna do okay. Cisco has been doing nicely. So I think the growth's gonna continue. And as you saw from the chart, it's not doing badly at all. So if you're asking me hot or not, I'm gonna go with hot on this one, even though that doesn't necessarily mean it's a must have in the portfolio. Hot or not? Um, I, like, I like the business, I like the management team. Uh, valuations are good, so hot for me.